many books have you read this month, Moby? I'm making a pictograph that shows how many books people read. Let's <coughs> see. You read two books. What is a pictograph? A pictograph is a graph that organizes and shows information using pictures. The title tells you what the pictograph is about. This graph shows how many books people read. The labels show the names of people and the number of books each person read. This is the key. No, not that kind of key. The key explains what each picture stands for. According to this key, one star on the graph stands for one book. Count the stars to find out how many books each person read. I read one, two, three books. Becca read one, two, three, four, five books. Becca is a bookworm. Here's a pictograph that shows people's favorite subjects. What subject do people like best? Each pencil stands for one vote. Math got the most votes. Eight people said it was their favorite subject. Which subject got three votes? Right, Moby. Social studies got three votes. Cool. It's lunchtime. How can you make a pictograph? I'm starving. Hmm. Should I get an apple or a pear? Which fruit do you like best? Let's take a survey about what type of fruit people like best. A survey is a list of questions used to collect information or opinions. You like bananas the best. So do a lot of other kids. You can record information from your survey into a tally chart. You organize tally marks into groups of five so they're easier to count. There are five, ten, fifteen tally marks. How many people like pears the best? Start with five, then count on two. Six, seven. Seven people like pears the best. You can use information from the tally chart to make a pictograph. First, draw a chart with two columns. Write the title and write the choices on the left. Then, create your key and pick a simple picture to stand for your votes. I'm going to use a smiley face. One smiley face will stand for one vote. Then, I fill in the pictograph. Since 10 people voted for apples, I draw 10 smiley faces in the graph. 7 people liked pears, so I draw 7 smiley faces in the graph. 2 people voted for grapes, 6 people voted for bananas. I want you to see in this picture graph that they're counting votes for favorite fruit. Apple, pear, grape, banana. But whoever made this picture graph decided to use happy faces. So there are 10 happy faces in the apple row and seven happy faces for pears, two for grapes, and six for bananas. So usually in these picture graphs, they're not going to use a different kind of picture. They would usually show like 10 apples, seven pears, two bunches of grapes, and six bananas. So I don't want you to get confused. Like, why are they using happy faces? You know, they could have used any, any picture, like thumbs up or, you know, cat face. Um, 
it's a little confusing because usually they just use the picture of the fruit. But the important part to understand is that whatever picture you use, um, in this graph it's saying that one picture represents one person's vote. So if 10 people voted for apples, that's why there are 10 happy faces. One person, one vote, one happy face. Pictographs help organize and show data or information so you can understand it better. Which fruit got the most votes? Apple. How many more votes did pears get than grapes? Five more people voted for pears than grapes. Let's take a look at this question. They asked how many more people voted for pears than grapes. And so there are seven pears and two grapes. Seven people voted for pears, two voted for grapes. But remember this question, how many more, how many less? I remember that question from when we were learning about subtraction. And, and the how many more, how many less means you're comparing two things. And so to find out how many more, you have to subtract and find the difference. What is the difference? So seven pairs minus two grapes equals five. And you can see there they, they shaded those five happy faces in red, right? So whenever you hear that question, how many more, when they're comparing two things, you, you need to subtract to find the difference.